Hi guys in another video by M Tech Pro, new shots off new iPhone 12 units have appeared on supply chain blog Nakata Car, giving us our first look at all four models sitting side by side. There's also a relocated SIM card slot that hints at a 5G surprise. From the leaks we've heard so far, there will be four iPhone 12 models spread across three screen sizes. 5.4 inch and 6.1 inch for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max, and 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch for the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max handsets. These leaked dummy models further confirm that's going to be the case, as well as give us a look at how the four phones will measure up against each other. Apple looks like it will have a range of iPhone users catered for, as the smallest 5.4-inch iPhone 12 looks suitably compact to his stablemates, and other current Android flagships like the Galaxy S20, with its 6.2-inch display. Rumored to cost $649, this could be the ideal device for those who want the best small phone. The larger 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max looks like it will be ideal for people who like larger phones with plenty of screen space, but not too large to handle. Comparatively, when the Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.9-inch display, which is arguably a little too large to be practical for some people. Having two 6.1-inch iPhone units might seem odd, but they should have several differences. While the iPhone 12 Max is expected to have two rear cameras, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is set to feature three rear cameras and a lighter sensor. Plus, the iPhone 12 Pro Max would have a smoother 120Hz display. So did you see any change from Apple? Although new iPhones typically launch in September, multiple reports are now pointing to a delay for the iPhone 12. The latest report from Cohen Investment Bank claims that the iPhone 12 release date could be pushed back all the way until late November. A slow and earlier report from the Wall Street Journal says that mass production has been pushed back by a month, so it's reasonable to expect that the devices will hit stores in October or later. There's also talk of the iPhone 12 launch event being pushed back to October, which would be the first time since 2011 that the event wasn't held in early September. So what do you think about the next generation of iPhones? Tell us in the comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you in another video. Don't forget like and subscribe, share if you liked.